What is up, everyone? It's your host Angus here, and today we're gonna, be, we're gonna be playing in a really quick tournament. But before that, I wanna open up this magical chest and let's see if we can get anything good. So opening it right now, we got some gold, ice golem, hawk rider, giant, wizard, knight. Okay, we're not gonna get a uh, legendary, but what epic we're gonna get? We're gonna get giant skeleton. So that's not too good, I think. But we're gonna be playing in a tournament with this deck. I don't really know to upload anymore. So let's just rock this deck over here, it's a minor control deck that I recently found out in a CRNAO tournament but hopping into it right now, we just started, I didn't even play a game yet but we're gonna be facing off against Rixer Z008, I, I think that means two, 2008, I'm not too sure though but <clears throat> in our starting hand, we don't really have anything too good to play, so let's just place a minor real quick, not minor, a princess and a minor after that and let's see how he deals with this, just to apply pressure on the other lane. And he'll, he's gonna be placing a skeleton army, and our princess is gonna chop that to death. But yeah, let's just place a mega minion here, and an inferno tower just to counter his giant easily. Unfortunately though, it did target the miner, but it's alright now, it, now he's targeting the giant, and that, it, that's its push shut down. So, Ice Spirit in front to support the mega minion, and let's see how he does with this. Alright, this is gonna be a very valuable fireball here. And he's gonna go down right now, boom, and there goes everything except for his wizard. But it's left at a sliver of health, which is really easy to deal with. Our tower can just one-shot it to death, and at this point, we're looking quite good actually, as you can see. We are like a thousand hit, we're in a, a thousand hit point lead, and this guy's running a Sparky, which is quite interesting. We don't really see Sparky that much, but it's but it's, I guess it's fun to see one once in a while. And let's just hope he doesn't run a Royal Giant, although I doubt he was, he's gonna run a Royal Giant because who does that honestly? And we have guards and that counters the Sparky so well. Alright, we need we need our Fireball ASAP. Actually not really, we can just use a Zap spell. And that's gonna be sh his Sparky shredded. And there you go, his push is shredded once again. Just just like that. And let's this time let's place a miner in front of his tower and let's see how he deals with this push. Really really small push and alright he's gonna be using a skeleton army so that's good for him. And right now we are still at full health. Both of our towers are at full health. So let's see if we can flawless this. I doubt it though, but let's just see if that's gonna happen or not. And he's gonna he's gonna be once again placing archers at the back of his tower. And this is once again gonna be a good little sparky snipe over here. I was not expecting that sparky to be placed like that, but it's good I guess. And our princess is gonna be chopping his tower to death. And as you can see, Sparky is gonna die off as well, just because he's not supporting it at all. So let's place a miner there and let's zap that to death real quick, just before it, uh, it does too much damage to us. And we cycled to another Inferno Tower already, so yeah, I guess why not just put it down, I guess. So let's- oh my goodness, do you guys see that? That was so good. So well timed, but let's place an Ice Spirit there, oh my god. Dude, this is amazing, man. Look at that. Oh my goodness, we're doing so well right now. Wow, all right, all right. We're doing. We're actually doing quite good, honestly. I'm not... I didn't expect us to do so well. But there you go. And let's fireball that once again, just because he placed it. Wow. What is this guy doing? He's, he's letting me get such valuable fireballs and everything like that. But we're, by the looks of it, we're going to be flawlessing this battle. 1-0, look at that. No lives lost. And there we go, first game is down. Alright, let's continue. And let's see if we can continue this streak. I'm not sure if that's happening or not, but let's hope for the best. And we're facing off against a level 8, so that's kind of unfortunate for him. But let's just place a minor in front. And let's see how this does against this da Dan the Man. Alright, what's up Dan the Man? Okay, so since he has that coming in, I'm just going to fireball that real quick. And let's use a Mega Minion to counter and guards to counter his princess. And I'm gonna be using a Fire Spirit just to mitigate the damage as much as possible, although I didn't seem that I need to to use that Fire Spirit there, but I guess it's alright. Alright, so we're in slight we're in the slight disadvantage right here. As you can see our tower is down to 1900 and he's in the lead currently. But we're gonna be coming back really really soon. Minor in front once again because I have nothing to place honestly. And let's see how he counters that. So, we're gonna be using a princess real quick. Just to counter his minion horde. And the princess does very, very well against minion hordes. As you can see, it's just gonna be wrecking that thing in half. And boom, there you go. 
minion horde down the drain. And currently we're looking decent, I guess. I'm not too sure what this guy's gonna be doing. All right, so he's gonna be placing a, a witch there. Okay, so I think that's just to lure my inferno tower, but that's not to worry. So let's place that there and that there, just to deal with his push. And there you go, his push is annihilated. And now uh, the mega minion is not gonna be doing that much, honestly, which kind of sucks. But the guards are gonna get some chip damage. Guys, do not underestimate guards, as you can see. We did more damage on the left tower compared to the right tower which I, was, which I was always aiming for this whole match and we've been doing more damage on the left tower instead which is kind of bizarre but that but that's good I guess. So Miner goes down, I'm, I'm expecting a minion horde just because that's what he does. And come on just place your minion horde. Okay so no minion horde at this point. So let's just use, alright let's zap that, those goblins to death real quick so it doesn't actually take out our princess. Alright, so he just zapped our princess, so that's good for us because now we can place another princess. And this guy must be quite frustrated right now. I don't blame him though. But Ice Spirit and Miner goes down once again. This is probably a chip cycle deck, I, I believe. Okay, so. Once again, going for the valuable fireball. And there you go. That, that, that was a quite a lot of damage actually, as you can see. We brought his tower down about a thousand hit points. Or close to a thousand, I'd say 700 hit points just by that small little push over there. And that's always good for us because now we can easily just chip his tower to death, I think. So let's place a miner there real quick. Alright, let's zap that princess. Just so it doesn't do too much damage. Alright, that was poorly played on our part. But, alright, alright. This may actually be a hard push to counter. But not to worry, we're just gonna play it slow. And let's use guards to, to uh, counter everything. And as you can see, we're doing quite, quite well. So let's just quickly take his tower out so this doesn't go too too long and uh, Miner's gonna be doing some damage not too much though but a uh, princess at the bridge really quickly and let's just fireball that and quickly place a Miner down just to quickly end this game and boom there we go second game easy as that and let's hop into two more games with you guys and let's hope for the best and Blunt is currently first place. So let's maybe chase chase him I guess. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. But I hope we do end up like top few or something. I'm, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. But let's do it right now. And this guy's level 8 unfortunately. Which kinda sucks but there's nothing I can do to help him honestly. And he's running level 5 musket here which is gonna be one fireball by our Fireball over there, and as you can see, this guy is in desperation mode right off the bat, placing his furnace at the bridge, which is not what you want to do, honestly. Oh my god, I feel bad about this guy. Alright, so he's running a lava home deck. Alright, alright. This may be quite interesting. So let's place an inferno tower there. And let's use guards. Come on. Okay, our guards are not in hand yet. But as you can see, this guy's in desperation mode right now, and there's nothing. Oh my god, his Mega Man is only level 4. That's, oh god. I'm, 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 I'm feeling so bad right now, honestly. But, yeah, that Miner is just out of range of his tower and he's not defending for some reason. I have no idea why, but I think he's low on Elixir or something. But let's, let's build a push on the other lane and let's see if this maybe can deal more damage. I'm not sure. I think this guy just gave up. <clears throat> okay, so... I'm not sure what this guy's doing. Okay, he left the match. Oh wow. How anticlimactic, but there's nothing you can do, I guess. So let's quickly end this game. And let's hop into another one with you guys. Which is gonna be the last game of the day. And let's quickly end this game really really quickly and let's see if we can continue this streak. Alright, and his tower's gonna go down in 3, 2, 1, boom. Alright. GG Nacho. And let's hop into another one. Last one of the day. And I'm still bummed out about the magical chess guys. I'm alright, so we are fifth place. I'm still bummed out about the magical chess. I didn't want to get such shitty cards, but it's I don't know honestly. I think this game is rigged. It always wants to give me th those really bad cards like giant skeleton. But I, I do think giant skeleton is actually coming back into the meta. I'm not too sure that's happening or not. But if you guys didn't know, Eclipse actually leaked this, but that's actually going to be um, a new a new challenge mode if you guys didn't already know and it's called the double elixir challenge mode so basically the whole game is going to be in double elixir mode 
which is kind of cool honestly we won't think that's happening but it's actually happening which is kind of cool i didn't think that was happening but wow that's gonna be really really awesome a lot of fun strats are gonna come to the game and i'm i'm really excited actually it's coming after 25th of november i'm not sure if it's 26 or 27 but you guys can do this on your own all you have to do is you guys have to be on android by the way all you have to do is you must have Clash Royale in your phone, obviously, or your tablet or whatsoever. But once you have Clash Royale in your tablet, all you have to do is go to the date and time section in your settings mode. And all you have to do is change the date to um, not automatic, change it to manual mode. And change the date to 27th or 26th November. That's what, that's what uh, helped me get this glitch. Not glitch, but this notification, basically. And it said double elixir mode, double elixir, double the fun or something like that. And it's really awesome actually, I really want to see what what comes to the game because I don't want to always play the same game mode, you know. But alright, alright, this guy is actually doing some work over here as you can see. And we're currently quite tight because I'm not actually paying attention at all, I'm just trying to commentate at the same time. And let's place, alright, this is going to be a hard push to counter, let's just place a fireball there. Just so you can push back the mini P.E.K.K.A. And as you can see, his tower is all the way down to 2,000, not 2,000, 269 hit points, and that's what you want basically. And after the Mega Minion there, really quick, we just count his Princess. And double licks the time right now. And let's place an Inferno Tower that I would not, we didn't even use the Inferno Tower once in this game. But, okay, this guy has a graveyard. Alright, that's great. But let's place a really quick miner there and he's unfortunately going to take out our tower because that's just overpowered. But Princess goes down right here and let's see. We have 20 seconds left, not 20 seconds. Yeah, I guess about 20 seconds, about 30 seconds to take out his tower. But let's place guards here. And as you can see, an ice spirit is going to actually snipe his tower, which is actually quite funny. I, I wasn't expecting that at all, but I guess it's fun. It's funny when it happens. And come on, take out the lumberjack. All right, that's not gonna happen. But I'm, I'm expecting a hot rider to come out really soon. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. But all right, come on, come on, take out his tower. All right, that's not gonna happen. But all right, all right. Princess goes down, and this is gonna be a actually very valuable fireball, I think. All right, so hot, come on, come on. We need more elixir. No, we need more elixir. Come on. All right, we. We can't place our, inf our Inferno Tower down But I'm gonna be placing a Miner down really really soon after the counter is pushed successfully And then we go Double Princess on the on the field right now And as you can see Double Princess shooting power and we're currently in the lead I do think I'm not sure though I think we are in the lead But Mega Minion goes down and let's hopefully end this game quickly As quick as possible I'm hoping, but come on, we need to end this game. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so we're currently doing quite well. And the tower goes down at the exact moment he places his hot rider. So we need, we need something to defend against this. All right, come on, miner goes down, and that's gonna be good for us. So he's currently in the lead. Okay, actually not really, but he's close to being in the lead. So let's just fireball that really quickly. So that goes down. And we, at this point, we can just fireball his tower to death, honestly. And come on, come on, come on. Alright, in full tower goes down. And oh, I don't really know what to commentate about right now, honestly. But Miner goes down, and come on, we can do it. Fireball. Boom. Yes, there we go. Good game. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Really quick episode about. I guess just a normal deck I, I've been running It's just a minor control deck And as you can see I'm just gonna pull up the deck really quickly It's from B Rad, I think He's the He's a semi-finalist From a recent CRNAO tournament But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode And peace out